Hi everyone! So today I went to Hobby Lobby. So this is another Hobby Lobby haul. I still probably have like two or three videos that I need to do from stuff that I bought a couple weeks ago. But I want to show you all the new stuff that I've been finding. I found more beads. So my mom had an appointment in a different part of town. So I took advantage. I went to the Hobby Lobby out there. So graduation. You're probably like, girl, you don't have a video graduating. Yes, I know. But let's use this for something else so we have um 2024 i can use that for scrapbooking just cut off the class of there's a little diploma and some little hats i still have not done sunny boys graduation photo album yet so i can put this with that stuff so yeah really good deal for 14 cents so i had to grab that i think i got two of these these are just holiday uh, stickers here, so 62 cents. I think I got two packs of those. This one was a steal, $1.50, and it's like a baking little sheet, like silicone mat thing. So I grabbed that one. I did get um, some stickers, you guys, which I said I wasn't going to be trying to do, but I did, so there's the other one of that one. But these little frames... I've been eyeing and I finally decided to jump in and buy them. So they are 40% off this week. All Paper Studio is 40% off this week. So it was, I don't know, like $2 and change. Um, Here is the code on all this stuff from Hobby Lobby. If you want anything and you have to shop online, check out the code in the corner. You see right there, you put that into the search bar and then they will come up. So I got those. I also got these. I see myself buying a lot more of these. These were $5.45, but you only get eight pieces in here, but they're beautiful little metallic. Oh, this one doesn't show you what's in here. I think this one does. Yeah, that one shows you. So I have an idea for those on what I'm going to do with those. Okay, I had to pull everything out. So I'm supposed to be on a no spend. If my mother watches this video, she's going to want to kill me, um, but I just, I couldn't resist. So... I have been saying that they need to do these Nomi Homies for all the holidays. And you guys, look, $1.99 for puffy stickers. Please, please tell me that Hobby Lobby is going to be making more puffy stickers. Please. Because we need those at this price. I think this is a really good price. $1.99 plus the 40% off. I don't even know how much these came out to. Okay, I just looked at my receipt. They came out to $1.19 a piece. I couldn't resist. I bought in twos because I don't know if these are going to be there forever or if it's like a trial run or what, but I didn't want to chance it. So these are the little holiday Nomi homies. So I have Christmas with 19 pieces and then I have the fall ones, which look like that with 25 pieces. Then Valentine's Day with 30 pieces. So that's those. St. Patrick's Day with 28 pieces. I wish some of these shamrocks were in gold. I like doing the green and the gold together. So I wish some of those were gold um, little shamrocks. Uh, Easter is 24 pieces. Are these just so cute with his little like bunny and like rainbow beard? I love that. Love this one. 4th of July, um, 28 pieces. I'm kind of sad. I, oh my gosh, I didn't even notice him with the melting ice cream on his head. How stinking cute is that? Um, so I was going to go to Laughlin, but, uh, for 4th of July, I got invited, uh, to one of the casinos out there. They are having fireworks on the river and there's like a whole little party where you get like food and drinks and I don't know what else. And I can't go. I can't afford it right now with all the other stuff I have going on. So, sadly, I can't go. Maybe next year I can figure it out and possibly go. Or maybe at New Year's I did um, put in a call to the casino host to see if maybe at New Year's they're having fireworks. Because I would love to go for that. And maybe by then I can get things figured out. But things are still kind of like in limbo right now because the house repair is not completely done. And I just want to know what my final bill is before I do anything else. So... That's where I'm at with that. Okay, I think we're back onto beads now. So for $3.24, I did get this pack. I had got it in the previous haul, but they only had one. And then this store only had one too. So I grabbed that because gold, you can mix and match with everything. So it's just like little filler pieces. So I was like, yes, I need all the packs of that I can get. 
because I'll go through it very, very fast. And then um, this was funny. I had bought these not too long ago. And um, these were on clearance for 62 cents. You get six pieces in there. So I like putting my sequence mix in here and then doing like a little dangle off of there. So I wish I would have found more of those. I only found one pack of those. This one too was $2.74. There was only one pack. So I grabbed that. Oh, look, there's like trash in there. Why do I always find the most random things in my packs? I found like bugs in there and taking it back to the store. So yeah, I always find like trash and bugs and weird things in there. Uh, let's see. This was eight ounces. So $2.75. This one was only 50% off, not 75 like some of the other items. So I grabbed that. Oh, uh, let's see. I had got this one the last time too. And I only got one. And then when I got home, I kind of regretted it. So I'm happy that I found one out there. So $2.24 for that one. And it just has like all the colors. Like all those reds are really, really nice for Valentine's Day or Halloween. Orange or Valentine's Day or Christmas. And then the orange for Halloween. And then like pastels make me think of like um, springtime. So I got those. This was so stinking cute, $1.24, and it's just like a little fairy door with roses. I thought that was really, really pretty. I might do like a um, Alice in Wonderland little like Chucky Charm, and I thought that might be cute for that. These were $0.74. Cents. It says you get 1,200 pieces in there. These are 6mm little beads, so nice little fillers, kind of like those gold ones right there. So grab those. This one was 74 cents. Look at how stinking cute those are. Little Coca-Colas. I don't know if these were on clearance or if they were only on clearance because it was like the packaging was damaged. It looks like it had some paint that spilled on there, but all the little cans are in there. So I don't know if that's just a regular item or if it's just like a damaged item that they put on clearance. But even for $1.99, I totally would buy those because that is so stinking cute. Love those. And then, oh, these are pretty. Oh, no, it got smushed. Look, okay, I don't know if you can tell. So it's supposed to be flat. There you go. Oh, you can kind of tell. But uh, they're little peacocks, and they have, like, multiple little colors on there. So pretty. A dollar, what, 37 for those. And then I got these little butterflies. I want to know if I can spray paint these because I don't see me doing, like, orange butterflies. So, or even yellow, maybe, I don't know. But I want to, like, spray paint them gold. So I'm going to play with that and see how that works. 99 cents for those. So cute little charm for a dollar. I figured I can test that out. And I thought I grabbed another different kind of dangly. I'll have to look for it. $1.99 for these multicolored beads in here. These are really good, again, for, like, if you're doing, like, a spring shop. Spring swap. <laughs> If I can talk, I think this would be really pretty with all the little like multicolors. It, it's giving me Maggie Home vibes. You know how Maggie Homes like has all the colors in there? That's what it's giving. Maggie Home. So I got those. And then this was a dollar ninety-nine. I had seen it the last time and um I did it in my like shop with me video and I didn't grab it because I thought it was expensive for a dollar ninety-nine. And then I caved in. I went back and I got it. It's just this little lace right here with like three little circles on there. It's kind of, when I left, I'm like, kind of reminds me of like Mickey and we're going for Halloween. So I'm like, let me just grab that. Oh, here's my other little dangly charm that I knew I got. So these are little lockets for 87 cents. So cheaper than the other ones. And again, I want to try to spray, spray paint some of these gold. I need to slow down on my talking because I'm fumbling over myself. Um, so like, again, I don't see myself using like orange or green. So like the red, the pink, I can see using at like Valentine's Day. So yeah, I'm going to try to spray paint those and see how that comes out. Okay, for this one. So I took both of these up there. So this one's actually missing half. I don't know if you can tell. It's missing like half the box, right? Or this one is completely full. So I took it up there to show them that this isn't on clearance because it's missing half the box because this one over here is 212 as well and it's the full box so i was wondering if they could give me a better sale on this one and she called over the manager and the manager's like yeah i gave it to her for 99 cents so 99 cents and then final sale i'm like totally fine with that i'll use them no problem so then i told her i was going to take this one because i knew i had already bought one before i just wanted this one like never be afraid if you see something missing something take it to the front and ask them if they'll give you a better you know sale price you're a better you know discount like I did right here. So, I mean, 99 cents for all those. I think that's a really, really good deal. So, 
um, and doing that, I told her, you know, that I didn't want this one. I just wanted the half the box. Well, she ended up charging me. And then she actually threw it, like, in her return basket, like, on her side of the cash register. But I always pay attention when I'm at Hobby Life because I always have problems with them charging me wrong. So I told her, I'm like, well, if you're going to charge me for the item, then I want it. And she's like, no, you said you didn't want it. I'm like, yeah, I didn't want it, but I also don't want to be charged for it if I'm not taking it. So I want the product now. And she's like, so do you want it or not? And I'm like, look at your register. You charged me for it, correct? I'm like, so then yes, I want it if I have to pay for it. I don't know where the confusion was in there. I thought I was going crazy for a second. Like, no, I did see her just ring it up and she did just throw it down in her little basket. And yeah, she bent down, picked up the little blue basket and took it out and then stuck it in my bag. So I don't know where the confusion was in that. I'm like, if I'm paying for it, then yes, I want the product, you know? But if I'm not paying for it, then yeah, go ahead and throw it in your little return basket. So always be aware. I always have problems there. I always tell you guys what my problems are. So that way you guys can like learn from my mistakes or learn from what's happened with me because that was just wild to me. I even thought I was like losing it, you know, like, am I wrong? Like, no, it's on there. It's on her screen. I can see it from here. So yeah, just always be aware when they are ringing you up because there's always problems because they have to manually enter everything. So just be aware. Um, okay. This one was a purchase that I probably shouldn't have bought. Because do I need it? No. Did I want it? Yes. Did I need any of this? No. <laughs> Did I want it because it was clearance? Yes. So I guess I shouldn't be really talking. Uh, $1.99. I love keys. I love old keys. This one is a key within the key. I was like, I've never seen it before. If I, it's there, I've missed it. And I was like, I have to have it. I don't know why. It's like a baby and the mom. I'm like, I just, I need that. So I bought that for myself. And then some of the string beads, I didn't record and I probably should have, um, but they are also on clearance. So $1.24, I'm like, okay, if this was at Dollar Tree, would I buy it? And my answer is yes. It's glass beads. Yes, I would have bought it. So I did grab it. I think this was the only string bead that I bought. All the rest, I was like, I can live without. That's what I've been trying to tell myself. I can live without this. I can live without this. But I get total FOMO, you guys. Like... I totally don't want to miss out. I love clearance shopping. That's why I have such a big hoard of stuff is because I always buy it on clearance. And I think like, okay, I'll use it by next year. And I, you guys see life keeps getting crazy that I just don't have time to use everything. And I really, really need to. Um, the last thing I want to talk about is if any of you are sellers on Etsy, uh, what is that? Shopify or I don't even know, eBay. Let me know who is your favorite and what do you use? I really, really need to destash some of my stuff. And more and more often, I'm having people ask me if they can buy some of the stuff I make. And I just don't know where to start. So if you have any directions to point me, please let me know. Help a girl out because I don't know where to start. So, <laughs> all right, guys, that's our little haul for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for all of your prayers. As you can probably tell from this video, I am starting to feel more like me. Now I just need to get my crafty little mojo going again so I can start filming for you guys again. And that's pretty much it for today. Uh, run out. Hope you guys can find some of these amazing deals and we'll see you later. Bye guys.